Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we're gonna to be having some fun with some alcohol inks. I'm using a couple different techniques here to create this beautiful swirl look. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use today down in the description box below so that we guys can shop those items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off with the epoxy that I'll be using first. I'm gonna go ahead and segment off just a little bit of, of it off into a separate cup. We're gonna be using that for something else a little later on. Now I am using a pretty big tumbler today and I didn't quite know how much epoxy I was going to need for it. That's why I have so much epoxy in my cup here. I honestly probably could have done like three or four cups with the amount that I had. So you don't need this much epoxy. Now I wanted my base to have a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I'm gonna actually add some mica powder right into my epoxy here. Now when I add mica powder, I used to just kinda of dump it right in there. You don't wanna chance that because you could accidentally dump out a little too much. So what I do is I pour it into the cap first and then I put it right down into my epoxy. Now the next thing that you wanna do is you just wanna stir it up really good so that way there's no lumps from the mica powder in the epoxy. So just stir that up really good and kinda of gauge from there if you want to add more or not. And that's another reason why I only add a little bit at a time because you can add more if you'd like to, but you can't take away the mica powder that you might have accidentally dumped in there. Now after you have it all stirred in, I just kind of take it and wipe it on the side of the cup to make sure it's the color that I would like it and it looked pretty good to me. So now we're going to go ahead and apply that to our tumbler. Now, as you see, my tumbler is already prepped and ready to have its epoxy applied. I just base coated it white to kind of go with the white that we are applying here with our epoxy. Now, because this is a 30 ounce, you want to add about 30 mLs of epoxy to it. You definitely want enough epoxy, so that way once we go to add our inks and, and all that, they have room to shift around and move and do their thing. Now once I have my epoxy applied, I'm actually going to go ahead and put it on my turner. I'm going to let it rest for a second, and then I'm going to hit it up with my torch. Now for any of you new guys out there, when you go to hit something up with your torch, or when you go to hit a tumbler up with your torch, this is what I mean when I say that. You want to do very quick sweeping motions across your epoxy. That just really helps eliminate any of those micro bubbles that might be in the epoxy. But you definitely don't want to keep it too long in one specific area. You run the chance of catching your epoxy on fire or scorching it and we definitely don't want that so quick sweeping motions with it and you're good to go all right now i'm going to show you the ink colors that i'll be using i'm just using basic tim holtz colors i have this purple here what's that called purple twilight i also am using this blue called mermaid I will also be using a yellow called Sunshine Yellow and the last color that I'm going to be using is an orange and that is Sunset Orange. But of course you can use any color combination you would like for this but this is just what I am using today. So the first thing I'm going to do is every time I use my inks I'm going to make sure that I shake them up really good to mix everything around really well and the first color that I'm going to start off with is my orange and I am just going to dash that completely around the top of my tumbler. And because I'm working with, what am I working with, four different colors, I'm just going to make sure that I kind of segment it into equal size portions when I go to sprinkle on my colors. Now each color that I do, I'm also going to make sure that I sprinkle it up into the color that's right above it as well, just so that way they blend together. Now you'll notice that the yellow and the blue are going to make my green there in the center, and the last one down here is going to be the purple. And I'm going to try my best to get it onto the bottom as well, but that's okay. I'll kind of help it out here in a little bit. And as you see, those colors are not perfectly on there. That's perfectly fine. That's how you want it to be. It's supposed to look like this. Now, the next step that I am going to do is I'm gonna take my blow dryer and I'm gonna put that on high and I'm just gonna shift everything out around just a little bit. As you see, I'm just doing up and down motions real slow until everything starts to just shift just a little bit and then we'll move on to the next part of this. Now, because those inks are still so fresh on the surface, they haven't had time to settle in just yet, I really wouldn't use a torch on this step just yet. All right, after I'm done doing that, we're gonna go ahead and move straight into the next step. So we're just going step by step here. I didn't let it sit or anything. We're just moving forward as I get done. We're moving on to the next step. 
So I'm taking that epoxy that I used for my base with the micro powder right inside of it. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply some white uh, Blanco Blanco, white pinata Blanco Blanco right into my epoxy. I'm going to make sure that I stir that up really good just so that way that mixture is fully combined. So this again, this is that mixture of the micro powder and the white Blanco Blanco right into it. And I'm going to take my stick and I'm just going to get that drizzle going really good. And I, I know you guys have probably seen on my vlog where I did a mesmerized cup. This is pretty much exactly the same way that I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be taking that white and just drizzling it all over my tumbler. And what's going to happen is this white will kind of settle down into the inks and the mica powders will give it a little bit of a shimmer and the white Blanco Blanco will just help it settle down even more into it and it's going to start to create this really beautiful swirl effect. Now I noticed when I started drizzling that on, it really wasn't the depth of the white that I, I wanted. So I went ahead and added just a little bit more of my white alcohol ink into my mixture and added just a few more of these swirls around on the tumbler. This is such an easy and fun thing to do. It really is. And, and you really, there's no wrong in it. There's, you can't do anything wrong with it because each one is going to come out exact you know individually its own you know there, there's no way you can make them all look the same so each one is supposed to be unique and different and I just absolutely love how all these colors kind of come together and swirl around and do their thing now I didn't need to hit it up anymore with any type of heating source it was moving around very smoothly for me as it is but if you need to hit it up just one more time with your your hair dryer or whatever you like to use, I would go ahead and do it now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that little bit of epoxy that I saved earlier because I wanna add some glitter into mine. Now, again, this is completely optional. You could leave this cup just as it was, be done, and that's it. You know, put your, your decal on it the next day. But I wanted to add just a little bit more shimmer to it. So I'm actually gonna take some Agenda. I mixed it up in that epoxy that we saved earlier, that clear epoxy we saved earlier. Now, the reason why I chose Agenda to do this is because it's a translucent glitter and it will pick up all the colors that I have in my inks and it will leave kind of a golden undertone. So it has a little bit of a shimmer, but it also looks like the colors of the inks at the same time. Now I wanted my glitter to kind of swirl along with everything. So I am applying my glitter right away. If you want more of a concentrated glitter line, I would highly suggest you wait at least 30 minutes, if not longer, until your epoxy is almost really doesn't want to shift around and then apply your glitter to it and it will make more of a concentrated glitter line for you. But like I said, I wanted mine to kind of swirl around with everything. So I'm adding it now. But as you guys can see, I'm just taking my popsicle stick and just applying my glitter with the side of my popsicle stick. And I'm doing more of a dabbing motion than anything else. And I really like the way that it actually kind of brought some of those colors from the top to the bottom and reverse where some of the bottom colors went up to the top. I really liked that look. So I was just kind of helping it out, kind of mixing it together, just seeing where I like it. And again, this is a trust the process thing. It's all going to swirl and do its own thing and come out amazing. Now I don't wanna to add too much more glitter from here. I'm actually gonna let this sit for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and touch up any little areas that might need just a little bit of help. So it's been 30 minutes, and I'm gonna come through with my little silicone tool here. I really like the, the tip on it. It just makes it a little bit finer, so that way I can kind of get in there and just touch things up without touching too much up, you know? <laughs> so, you guys may notice that sometimes when you spin your cups that some of these uh, inks and stuff want to come away from the top and the bottom. So all I'm going to do is help it out. I'm going to take my little silicone tool and just kind of bring those colors up to the top and take those colors down on the bottom as well and just kind of drape them up over the edge there just to kind of help out because sometimes even along the bottom you'll get kind of those pulled up areas and we don't want that. We don't want it all pulled up around the bottom. So just taking your tool and helping it come right around that edge really helps out. And after I do my top and bottom, I'm just gonna come right down here into the center of the tumbler, and I'm gonna help out any more little areas that are just kind of pulled up just by gently swirling it around. Now this epoxy is still pretty wet, so anything that you do, it will close back up and it will just accentuate any little swirls that you have going on, so need, no need to worry there. Now I am gonna let this kind of sit for another 30 minutes. So 
just to come back through and really touch up anything else. Now this was another 30 minutes after that and I'm going to take my silicone brush or my silicone tool one more time and just again just kind of swirl any colors up and down into each other that I want to and that is it. I'm going to let that spin overnight. I'm going to let it do its thing and we'll be able to put the decal on tomorrow. Now for the quote I just chose a basic white vinyl. I, I didn't want to accentuate too much. I feel like there's a lot going on in the base, so I thought the white actually just looked perfect on it as it was. So no outlines or offsets or anything today with this. But I really like this quote too. You always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. And that was from Glinda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I'm going to put its last two finishing coats of epoxy on and she is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.